All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. The name of the video is uh, How the Mob Tests Their Members. All right, uh, this comes from the channel Camp Gagnon Clips. Let's jump into it. I'll give you an example. You're married, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're with your wife. Your wife, me and you are friends. We go out all the time. Well, I see you all the time. We don't go out. We're friends. And right. I see you every day. We smoke cigars. We laugh, talk about stuff, politics, whatever, bullshit. And I go by our area, like wherever you live. I come by the street and your wife's in another location with the car flat or not. Oh, like she, she, she's distraught. I pull over. Hello. Oh, oh hi. She knows me because I'm friends with you. Mm -hmm. Right. I got you. Boom. I changed the tire. I fixed the whatever, whatever was wrong with her car. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you. Okay. She drives away. She had her car fixed. Now she goes home. Your wife would go home and tell you, mm -hmm. Chicky's a good guy. Yeah, what I a great guy. I was stuck. He pulled over. He helped me. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Now Aunt, this kid knows this kid helped him. So he don't, he's smart. He don't say, I'm going to go thank him. He waits to see if the kid tells him. So we can go mm. for weeks. And now, I don't even know what's going on at this point. He keep it in his head. We go to the place every day, cigars, coffee, laughing. Right, right. The Just kid waiting. doesn't mention him to one time. Okay. Not even, now, you don't think I'm going to tell you, like I just said, I just, you know, I hope your wife, did she tell you? Oh, she did. Thank you, Chicky. No problem. Anytime. I know you do. It. Right, right. That's exactly what I think the majority of people would probably do. But this is a solid test on like actual loyalty. Like, bro, how would I know if you're not planning something or plotting something behind my back? Right? Like, you don't seem very loyal, bro. Like, you're hiding information. I don't think I like that. For me, never said a word. I think the kid even hinted around to him, like, you've been seeing anybody? You know, you go around, you see, him? no. Now, right away, if I don't say it to you and your wife told you, you don't think I'm looking, why wouldn't I say that to you? Right. Like, you know, why wouldn't I say to you, hey, I helped your wife. Now, a normal person's like, what, what does that mean? That's nothing. What is something in that world? Because there's no reason the kid wouldn't tell my friend or my friend at the time. Exactly. What's Shady. the reason? Are you looking to do something secretly? Are you looking to maybe see her again and say, remember I fixed your car? I kept my mouth shut. This is how we're thinking because right. this is our minds thinking. That's the kind of street mentality. Just like if a guy's in jail, if you got to drop money off to the guy's wife to help her because your buddy's in jail, you don't go in the house. The door opens, even if that chain's in the door. Here's the envelope. Oh, you want to come and have? No, thank you. Boom. Right. You know. Oh, this is this is this is intriguing. What is this? That's mm. how you're supposed to do it. You're not supposed to go in and sit and have coffee. Can right. Cook That's not your food? business. No, you don't do that. Right. Do, do, oh, come on in. Thank you. I'm all set. Here's the envelope. Yeah, like, let, let me help you out, but just be fully aware. I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't even want someone seeing me walk out of your house crazily. Like, listen, let me just go ahead and hand you this money. Thank you for your service, right? And we're going to back, and we're going to go ahead and get back in the car and leave. Again, I don't want any crossed wires here. Tell him I love him. Gone. Got to keep your intentions clear. 100%. Right. 100%. 100%. Okay. This is how we grew up. Because there's a lot of dirty guys that are fucking Listen, they're trying to get in. Scumbags. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are out there, you know? And it's right. just, now in this day and age, Probably more. <laughs> what's going on? Come on. There's people are nuts today. What they're doing with these people's wives and girlfriends and sneaking. Just, and their social media, <laughs> that destroyed relationships. Social media, if you use it for business or you want to put up your grandkid or your kid's baseball game, that's fine. But if you're, uh, listen, I, I don't want to st stereotype everybody, but if your uh, wife or girlfriend on social media, listen to me, and this is, this is a true reality. Go true, ahead. This is a true reality. Break it down. They're getting inboxed, inboxed by guys. They mm -hmm. see it. Mm, probably. Right, because men are wild. Men are weird. Um, you know, just to be honest here, there are some men who absolutely will just inbox your your wife, all types of craziness. Um, my wife doesn't have social media. I specifically, um, that was like a prerequisite, I think, when I found my, my wife. I wanted to make sure that there was no none of that weirdness that was happening, I would say. Uh, my wife is not on social media. Yeah, picture, wow, you're beautiful. You think they're going to come maybe... Uh, inbox fire, the fire emoji. And, and oh, here, I smell the comments. Wait a second. Let me rephrase this. It has, if she wanted social media, she could get it, but she doesn't like the concept of it. So, you get what I'm saying here, right? Uh, it's not about, it's not a controlling thing. OG. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Now, there ain't a lot of guys, unless you're a movie star or something, there ain't a lot of guys that are getting all kinds of girls texting them. Maybe there's some, but not much. Girls? 
If you're a decent looking girl, forget about it. Yeah. And you know that. Anybody Most don't, crazy don't know images. that, they're really sadly mistaken. Mm. Not that your anybody's wife would do that. Some would. Some like, would. I'm not saying all girls are gonna do that, but right. it's a temptation. Yeah. Oh, my husband fought with me and we I don't wanna see him for two days. Oh, wait a minute, let me see. Oh my god. Right, let me this check guy my inbox. Me. Even if they don't do nothing. They might talk to them. They might go texting back and forth. Mm. So I think remote, uh, like emotional relationships are, are probably, those could be very dangerous, I think, in general, right? Like, uh, let me just check my inbox. I'm angry at my husband type of thing, right? And, uh, oh, look at all these guys, literally, who only want one thing, but you, you may be okay with that, right? But um, that emotional relationship is much more deadly and detrimental to uh, to marriage than anything else, I think. Because once you lose, uh, I think, your wife emotionally, that's that's basically done, bro. What would happen, hypothetically, if a guy found out that another dude was, like, messing with his wife? Well, I'm not going to get into a specific story. Sure, I, 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 no, 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 you know where I'm going. I don't say too much. Hypothetically. <laughs> but there was one instance in my area, I won't mention names, but um, this good-looking guy, and I won't get into it, it was back in, like, I think the early 80s or maybe the late 70s, he slept with the boss's wife. The boss was, like, 75, 80 years old, and his wife was 30-something. Oh. And oh. he slept with the boss's wife. Right. And they warned him the first time, which I can't even believe. You know. They warned him the first time. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, and it's a shame because he has a beautiful family. I know his daughters and his sons, and they're, they're, it's a good family. Okay. It's a shame they had to grow up without a father, but, you know, what are you going to do? Right. Right. We, what are you, you going to do? Oh, okay. Well, I guess we don't need to go any deeper in that, right? But he slept with the boss's wife, and uh, they warned him. They right. said, you're out of your mind. You better not do it again. And, and I don't know what he was thinking. It's none of my business. I don't know the particulars, but he did it again, and... Uh, it wasn't good where they found him, you know, several right. months later, they found him somewhere and it wasn't good. And that's too bad because he has a nice family and they had to grow up without a father. Right. So the bottom line is in that world, I don't know, I'm sure in any, in the drug world, mm -hmm. right. in the biker gang world, in the right. gang world, gangs, I'm sure uh -huh. it's the same way. You see when another, one of your, so, with quotation mark, brothers, right. supposed to be your brother, right. and you're sleeping with the guy's wife. Yeah, that's not a brother. It's a death sentence in that world. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, it should probably be that in, in all the worlds. But, um, you know, <laughs> just don't mess with somebody's wife, bro. Right? Don't do that. There's a lot invested there. That's absolutely craziness. Uh, there's absolutely never a way that you can kind of regain that respect. I'm not even sure why uh, he was even given a warning, bro. That may sound super callous, but, again, don't be that guy. Right? The man, this, man, this man nonchalantly said, you know, it's a shame. It's, it's, it's a shame he had to grow up without his, his father. <laughs> what? This, this man scares me more than I have ever been scared on video, bro. I don't know what this is. I don't want nothing to do with it. But um, definitely an interesting story. Thank you for sharing me uh, sharing with me this uh, this story. Or all, all right. Uh, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day. Thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.